and welcome to Tech Tuesday. My name is Dom with DigitalDom.com, helping you be successful in the digital world. Today we're going to be talking about PickMonkey.com, how to actually make cool graphics and stuff like that online. So let's get um, so right into PickMonkey.com. PickMonkey is a free browser-supported photo editor for Macs and for PCs. You would just basically edit your photo. You can choose the design for your photo. And what's great is that you can use it for websites, for different blogs. So you would just basically upload whatever photo that you'd like. Once you choose your photo, you can begin editing. In these next couple sections, I'll show you some different things that you can do with that image. The first thing that you'll learn how to do is how to crop and resize. To crop the image, you would just select the little uh, cropping icon on the left hand side and then you can choose whatever dimensions that you would like to have the photo in so if this was a YouTube thumbnail I would put 1280 by 720 um, and you could resize it for whatever platform that you're gonna use whether it's a Facebook header or the Twitter header um, whichever one you'd like and then um, it'll actually keep the proportion proportions if you'd like or if you wanted to like just um, condense it down to a certain version you could do that so again you would just resize and like let's say that this would be for Instagram Instagram's dimensions are 640 by 640 so I would just input that in and then apply once that's been applied I can just click on the little save icon at the very top and then I could save it to whatever folder that I'd like and then uh, from there I can upload it to whatever social media platform or website or blog now that we've talked about resizing and uploading let's talk about how to brighten your image to brighten the image on PicMonkey, you would go to exposure and then you can mess with the brightness and this would really light up that picture, especially if it was a darker tone. So this is definitely an effective one to use. Mitch, let's talk about adding different effects to the actual picture. Um, so you would little, click on the little wand there. It has a whole list of different effects, including black and white, that you could use to add the effect. Um, I won't go through this whole list, but you can mess with those different effects um, uh, and really make your image pop out, especially if this was maybe a flyer for a church um, or if it was a big event for your uh, small business or organization. You can add effects to that. Speaking of adding effects, there's a really great effect within this list. It's called Draw and uh, it's it's uh i'll show you exactly what you can use it for it's kind of a eraser um so i'll go ahead and get to draw right here i'm gonna soften up the brightness and i'm gonna add kind of a glow and of a little bit of a eraser so if you see on this little fortune cookie thing it says your life will be prosperous but then it says panda express right at the bottom there so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of highlight that and then just kind of erase that now that I've erased that, uh, the one thing everybody wants to do on their image is actually adding text. So to do that, you would just click on the little T on the left hand side. You can choose between all those different fonts. Um, the little ones with the crowns mean that they're for the premium version. Um, and so it's very low cost a month if you want to get the premium or you could pay the yearly rate or you could just use the, the free ones that are listed there. Um, and then the second thing you want to do as far as adding um, text is adding images and you can add overlays and overlays is just a, a image that you have saved and so I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of different overlays here's the YouTube um, logo I'm gonna change it to a different way and I can add um, all these different overlays over this uh, particular image so if this was a flyer again I'm I'm kind of promoting some of the different things that I uh, you can stay connected with me on um, and so those are overlays and to do that I would click on the little butterfly and then select my different image and so now now I can go ahead and put the final touches um, on this particular image um, and again I can move around these overlays anywhere I'd like um, on my particular um, flyer or on this announcement or on this picture that maybe I'll be posting there. Um, the, the other thing that now that I've had this all kind of put together what I can do is I can add that little glow effect and I'll show you kind of how to make these letters pop out using that little eraser so again I went back to those effects went to draw and now I kind of am highlighting over kind of just a rough draft of just some of those letters and really making that image pop out and you could probably get really creative with this with whatever mission or you have uh, with your images or with your photos um, this is all using pickmonkey.com Thank you so much for watching today's edition of Tech Tuesday. If this was helpful to you, click on the link up above right. And I'll see you guys next week.